my biggest problem since moving to the countryside of Kenya, Africa. The countryside of Africa. Hi guys, my name is Kim Top Bear. I do lifestyle vlogs and privilege vlogs. I do travel all over the world. And these are the things that I regret moving. Okay, so let me give you context. So I was born and raised in Nairobi and then my mom they retired here. So currently I came back around like December to take care of my mom. My mom is recovering. She was really 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 sick. So I had to come here and take care of my mom for now i came in december now it's like january december 2023 now it's like january today's today's 15 let me check yeah today's uh 14 so it's not 15 14 january 2024 it's on a sunday i'm currently traveling back to because my mom is like recovering like she just now needs to rest a lot and do little exercise but she's now she's not in much pain like before yeah she got really really sick around october yeah but now she's recovering i think within six months then she's coming she was supposed to come with me to the village but she is taking care of her land she has to plant we've finished planting but there's some land that has not been finished planting anyway this is my problem with the village this is why i never like stay in the village for long because 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 of wi-fi like signal strength is bad that's why there's no connectivity and then as much as there's sense of community there's pros and cons of that also there's also lots and lots I know I'm gonna get lots of it, but there's lots and lots of begging. This is just my experience. Like if people see you coming from from Nairobi, like the city or abroad, they surely tend to think you have like money growing from the trees. Like your relatives, they keep on borrowing you money. Like it's annoying because it's not that they lack food, they have food. They have lands, lands and lands and lands they can plant. Just borrow you money because they borrow you money like <sighs> may I change for for drinking yeah drinking is one of the biggest problems that we're encountering here in the countryside they don't like food like Kisi ask anyone I come in the countryside of Kisi there's food there's like fertile soil people grow their food they eat what they grow on their farm so it's not money that they're begging for school fees or things like that it's money for drinking actually so that's a lot of bad faves that i hate i tr truly truly hate that another thing that i regret moving in the countryside is there's lots of visitors entitled visitors all like anytime with no how can i say no call no appointment nothing they just they just come they just come whenever they feel like coming and when i tell you since i stepped in here like i have because we're only me and my mom my sister went but there's lots like i've been cooking for like five five different visitors every time now and then like they wake you up in the really and the thing that annoys me is they wake you really really early in the morning like i'm not even kidding like six in the morning the visitors they 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 know exactly they know what your schedule what time you're cooking and the main thing they're coming for is food they love food and this economy are roto this is the economy the economy metupeleka like you have to well, to be on a budget you know anyway food is not issue they will eat they will make sure they come on time breakfast lunch and even evening like we have even visitors at 8 p.m 10 p.m they just want to eat because 
babe as long as they smell like right now at least you're cooking gas you think they will not see the smoke because a long time ago when you cook and they smoke they know that lunch time or or dinner time so they wouldn't even like well because now at this rate because they're not visitors anymore they should help you like with the cooking no they don't want that okay help me with the cleaning of the utensils they are so mad and then another thing my mom is like my, my mom is like you know it's because of my mom so i have to respect my mom and this is my mom house but if it was my house i will not tolerate that she's not eating my food more than once you have to help me cook that food you have to help me clean those utensils at least help me with one thing so i feel like i became a maid to the visitors here it was not even an issue like taking care of my mom is no it's an easy job right it's so easy taking care of my it's the visitors like they are so entitled when i tell you they're so entitled like comment down below if you have this experience in your village they're so entitled like this if this was my house i will not have have had it but my mom it's very my mom is kind of like uh it's old school mom like uh, you have to give your visitors water food tea and things like that yeah so that's one thing also another thing there is no boundaries no boundaries like a visitor will come and know my mom is sick she can't sit down for long she the visitor will come to the pictures of visiting my mom and they will like four over four hours that is not like they're not like it's not visitors like visitors like 21 hour like their home is one hour no they are just like neighboring it's like 10 minutes walk oh. <laughs> so another thing that i regret moving here is there is no power no running water and when i say no power like this yes there's electricity but the thing is you can see yes there's electricity i don't know if you can see that power pole there that's a power, electric kenya power no guys the shortages the blackouts it's terrible imagine nairobi now imagine the countryside where there's trees everywhere so anytime there's rain there's power sh power shortage but at least with that there's like you can remain with no power for two to three days sometimes even worse two weeks the worst but thank god the time i've been here they've been gone like maybe full day or 12 hours here and there but you will experience that then there's no running water at least we're in a land where there's more like rain water so we fetch rain water we have a 3000 liter tank and we have another 1000 liter tank and that supplies us water and then we have like boreholes actually we need to have a motor so that we can pump the water to come into the toilet but this is no like there's no government initiative for running water but at least we also have a river like we drink we fetch rain water for doing house calls cooking and all that and then we sanitize it with with dev with chlorine and then we we don't i don't know there's something like ever since i grew up i never drink fed, fed rain water we just go to the river so the river is like 10 15 minutes walk to and fro 13 minutes yeah so we do that so but yeah those are things that i feel like they're annoying and then of course there is no like this stomach road i'll show you anyway i'm leaving today because i have some errands some some things that I, they need me to be in Nairobi to do because they have to make money in the countryside as much as things are not expensive there is no like revenue there's no way to make revenue that like i don't know there's no there's no money making machine i don't know how to say it yeah yes farming here is basically to eat like to sustain with substantial subsistence farming like the crops they grow is for them to eat not to sell yeah so you know what i mean the only thing they sell is tea to the government 
will pay them peanuts. If I had a farm here, I wouldn't grow tea because it's 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 meaningless change. Anyway, I think my border is coming late. Anyway, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm going back today to to the village, and I hope my mom. I miss my mom. All in all, without complaining too much. I love the village because this is my ancestral home. My mom lives here and wherever my mom is, that's home for me. And of course, there's no Wi-Fi. The signal strength is zero. That's why I've not been uploading. I wanted to be uploading every single day. But the data here is very, very expensive because you use mobile data and you all know it's expensive but what i've managed so far i've seen like airtel is much better than safaricom here in the village the rural areas yeah of course in everything there is a solution and we're trying and i'm so thankful now we have like a toilet inside the house because that was another issue going outside can you imagine going outside in the middle of a forest because this is a forest see that this is a forest and then the toilets were there the pit latches were there so now we have another pit latches anyway don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video let me know what are they if you're living in a country say wherever you are let me know where you're watching from and what challenges do you face ah, okay let's wait for my boat motorbike yeah. Okay. Now we've been the rules. The rules is always there. Yeah. She was always the dog. So I've got my 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 ticket. ticket. Now imagine economy I wrote the ticket was so another thing I regret. <laughs> Another thing I regret for this to the cat side is like it's hard to find like right now we are finding like there's no many banks like access banks and one of the two no banks oh bank oh bank bank oh yeah bank like right yeah. now I want to pay with the school fee to transport for Aiden <laughs> <laughs> Full fees are already paid. They said they don't want to receive cash. They have to find the ba any bank or yeah. yeah, but they they are closed. It's on yeah. a Sunday. So there's limited access to things that you need from day to day. Mm -hmm. there's, like the market is like only groceries, like there's no Brand names like the brand names that you are used to, that <laughs> Another thing, there's not like big like supermarket where you have your brand names. Yeah, you need your brand names. It's not easily accessible to many things. Yes. So if like the supermarket, you can't find everything you want. Yeah. Yes, I'm very and there's shy. a lot of stairs. Like I watched my sister's like video and Which I got to Rwanda with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> they stare, but Uzuri Apa, they don't stare. Yeah. Like, it's normal. Nowadays everyone has a phone. Street vloggers even don't know vlogging. It's a bit in the radio stairs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Another okay. thing is that annoying is Ghana. Will you say my bed? Yeah, bed. When someone knows that you're from town, yes. you're from a different town like Nairobi, or you're from Dubai, or Qatar, or anywhere, yeah. they see that you have you've carried a lot of money. And money right? grows to yeah. trees. But it's good to help out, but not that you can help that person and then he goes to drink or she goes to drink. Yeah. It won't help him or her in any way. Yes. So because that is. And I thought that one. annoys me. Number one. Because I'm also on my here list. in the village. They only see that I am going I'm from Nairobi. I have money. Yes. I am here with them. 
Yeah, and they always expect you. If you don't give them, they'll say. If you don't give them, they'll say. You're in a ring. Hey, they'll call you. Oh, you're a snitch, no. madam. Which madam? They call us madams, but I don't check. I'm a I'm to Yeah, something like that. Which is yeah. annoying. Mm. I don't know why they're saying that you to a like rich kid. It's because of our house is not mad. It's stones. They say you only you was a mad. That is only you was a mad. And we we built it a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And the rain, the rain. I like rain. Even me because I do not. <laughs> I, I love not enough water to do my chores. Yeah. Chores. And the sleep. Why water? Just not to drink from at all. Imagine I cannot get to the only white. Like here, there is a time I used to come here for uploading. They had mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi, the wi but one hour. It's a cyber cafe. Yeah, cyber cafe, Move. PlayStation, you can mini movies, all such things. <laughs> You pay 100 shillings for one hour. Imagine. One hour. That's me when I upload it to video and you can go. So it will yeah. be for the time. Yeah. Then I'll come up and ask you supermarket <laughs> 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 Anyway, mom got me the nyama. Now that's what I'm cooking. Let me show you. This is it. Um, um, I'm frying it. I think I'm gonna pan fry it, all of it. Okay, let's cook. Flashback. So, what mama did you say? She she said she's buying me nyama. So I'm going to preserve it nyama from the village. His mama is making me roast meat to take to the Nairobi. End of flashback. I'm cutting it to pieces. Yes. Oh, my house is a mess. So this is everything we're This is our house. Oh my god, the angles are disgusting, but I'm tired. And you know, that's what, when I go to the village, my mom always forces me. This is two kgs of organic maize meal for ugali ugali maize flour. And then lots and lots of chilies from our farm. That's what I'm eating now. I'm missing my mom already. Anyway, I'm gonna cook this. This is dinner. I'm so hungry and I'm so tired. I came back and started doing work. 
The thing I like about the countryside is the food is really organic. It's really tasteful. So there's nothing. I know there's meat in Nairobi, that, but it will never compare to the meat in the countryside, in the village. The, the meat in the village always tastes better. You don't even need to put any spices that the nyama is heating. Anyway, let me finish. Let me show you. So I need new pans. Anyway, we'll do so I'm gonna put the meat here and I'll show you the food. That's my food. Ugali, the yama, and wine.